Hello everyone, I've got another Your Creative Studio box to share with you today and I do believe this is the December box. Um, I did one a couple of weeks ago and I think I said that was December but it wasn't, it was the November box. Now I've got a feeling this is going to be um, a sewing theme because we've got an old Singer sewing machine on here but isn't that card pretty? So let's open this up i haven't had a sneak peek of this one so this is going to be as much a surprise to me as it is for you let's just um, fold this over pop it to one side and i'm just going to take the bits and pieces out one by one whoops we've got some stickage um going on so we've got the washi tape Let's see if I can um, open it and um, show what the design of this one is like. Pretty pinks. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's that's just lovely. So we've got sewing machine, thimbles, cotton, um, scissors, all kinds of things. I like that. We've got a box of what says um, checklists. So let's see if I can um, open, open this up, see if I can do this without managing to stab myself. I've got another injury on my hand and no, it is not a scratch from Louis. I don't think Louis has ever scratched me. Um, this was from trying to release Toby's lead from um, the brambles on our latest walk. So hang on, let's see if I can get inside inside this and see what we've got um, we've got here. Oh, so it's a little um, paper block. Oh, no, I'm glad that these are not all the same either. We've... Um, Got several different um, designs. So to-do list. Then we've got um, another list here. Days of the week. And um, a check checklist. So four different um, designs on, on that one there. Cling stamp. Um, sewing machine cling stamp by the looks of it. Oh, that's beautiful. And I love the size of um, some of these stamps as well. They're a really decent size for you to use. So we'll have a play with that. Um, oh, another washi tape. We normally only get one. So, um, so that's good. Um, it's called Masking Tape Mini. Oh, that's lovely. It's sort of like um, an indigo blue. Let's see if I can um, find the end of this and I'll show you what, um, what it looks like can't find the end. Here it is. That's really, really pretty. It's like little, um, little leaves, continual leaf design. I like it. We also have um, a doily. Oh, I like this. Um, hang on, let's see if I can find my, my way into it. Packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So we can, you know, certainly sort of try and incorporate that somehow as well. But we've got this crocheted cotton doily. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Really happy with that. We've also got a pair of scissors. Hang on. Let me just see if I can um, get into this without destroying the packaging because the background again looks really pretty. And you all know how I love to um, use these in my designs as well because they're just so beautiful. Look at this. These are a really nice weight um, as well. They look nice and sharp. Oh, I like those. Um, oh, gorgeous. We have some more cling stamps, some mini ones by the looks of it. Let me just um, pop pop that out of the way, see if I can get some into this. I like this um, envelope. I want to try and save um, save that if I, if I can as well. So we've got, oh, mine's come off. Hang on, let me just um, try and do a bit of a repair job. The stamp has come away from its, um, its mount, but they're so sticky, it's really easy to just um, pop it straight, straight back on. So this one here is um, a little cotton, cotton reel. We have got um, a tape measure and, um, and a bobbin. Another reel of, of thread. So no, in fact, that one's a bobbin. That one's a reel of thread and that one's um, a tape measure. We've got um, a set of stickers by the looks of um, things. Stamp sticker set. Let's 
open this up and check out these designs so a mix of all sorts going on here um we've got um uh, paris well, in fact it's not just paris we've got amsterdam um as well um so i would say uh, wait wait it is around the world so a travel travel theme a postage theme i like this these are really handy to to use um like this one here as well yeah lots of things for us to use animal designs on this one um a mixture of all sorts mainly text related on this one here cameras um all sorts and that's just the the packaging we have got another sticker set, one of the Your Creative Studio um, own designs. Absolutely beautiful. I love that Singer sewing machine. It's just gorgeous. And then there's the scissors look. Um, so I imagine that um, Amanda has designed this herself. Um, set square, all kinds of um, cottons and, and things. Isn't this shoe just beautiful? I love that set. We've got a cute little charm. I love these um, charms and I have used um, these in projects in the past. This one is just adorably cute. So um, there's the little um, eyelet for you to attach it to a jump ring or something. Isn't that cute? Next up, we've got some papers. Let's see what um, see what these are these colors are pretty aren't they this month all these beautiful um pinks um i think these are sticker papers which way up do they go does it really matter so let me just show you the designs that's pretty oh these are gorgeous so that's those so was it five five i think i counted and then we've got a little ephemera pack. Let's have a look and see what um, what this is. Yeah, ephemera pack, paper um, ephemera. I'll keep that card because um, I like to use those for project bases. Um, and these are just um, cards. These are, are not um, adhesive. So let me just um, flip through the designs. So we've got two of those two of these ones here that's gorgeous so i like the idea of using that as a frame i've got um, an idea for that um, already and then we've got these journaling cards here so three three of those three of those ones there and then three three of, of these well, I'll put my thinking cap on and see if I can come up with a couple of designs using some of these beautiful goodies. Okie dokie, I think I've got um, a plan coming together. Um, I just absolutely love this packaging from the roll of slim, uh, Slimline Washi Tape. And what I'm thinking is that I can make some kind of hidden paper clip. Love this piece of scrapbooking paper here. And I'm wondering whether I can um, use this to line the inside. I'm not going to use these scissors that were included because I think I'm going to use those for fabric and I don't want to blunt them by using them with paper so let's just roughly cut around around here and then this is going to go on the inside so what I will do is just try and emulate that that fold you can see that that's a little bit too short but never mind it's um it's there or thereabouts let me just butt it up um, into that crease as best as I can and I'm just going to draw um, around it I think using um, a pencil I think that will be the um, easiest way for me to be able to trim it um, to the right size here we are so I'm just going to trim um, trim around this now, what I think I'm going to do first is use some um, Distress Ink in Frayed Burlap um, just to try and distress um, this and um, age it. It's just too white. Um, I'm also going to um, ink around the edges of this as well. And I'm also going to do the inside of this as well, just um, in case it doesn't line up when I glue um, my pieces down. Now, one step at a time. I want to add a focal image just to cover up the um, wording on here. And this was from last month's pack. 
I think this is going to fit on and go really nicely with my, my theme. Yep, you see, that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? So we've now got um, our front side done. Um, I've got a paper clip and what I'm going to do is take the backing off this and, um, and see if I can get this to work. Keep your fingers crossed. So here we are, it's coming, it's coming. And so I need to pop my paper clip down. And I want to leave a little bit at the top so that I can either add some um, fabric um, or a charm. Let's just make sure I've got that reasonably um, central and in the middle. That will do. I need to add a slit, don't I, just in the um, top here. Now me, being pedantic as I am, I've just measured it and um, just drawn myself a line so that I know where I need to cut. So I'm just going to use my utility knife just to make um, a hole through there and then hopefully my paper clip will slide slide through. So now I just need to line everything everything up. Now this is not sticking um, very well, so I'm just going to use some of my um, glue just to hold hold this down, just um, give it a bit of um, added strength. So let's just add some glue. Let's um, just move the glue off that stick that down. I'm just going to um, stick a book on top of this just to weight it down. That looks so pretty already, doesn't it? Now all we need to do is add something to the back. I've added some um, ink around the edges and I've also cut um, a piece of paper out of that, um, that sticker sheet. In fact, actually, I'm just going to add some glue as well because um, I'm not sure that this will stick well without it. So this might give me a bit of uh, wiggle room as well. There we go, that's it. And smooth that down. That looks so cute, doesn't it? So that's what it's like on the back. And I don't know whether you can um, see inside. Now I've got some of this sari ribbon and the colour is perfect. So I thought I'd add some of this and of course I can try out my lovely um, scissors as well. Let's try and cut this. I think what I'll do is just um, thread it through and I think I'm just going to tie it, tie it in a knot. Let's just tie that there I think. And then I want to add my little um, sewing machine charm. So I just need to find um, a way of hanging my charm. Now I've got um, one of these light bulb pins and I thought I could just thread this through. Oops, need to pop the charm on first. Nearly forgot the charm. Yeah, I think that's going to um, hang okay. And then I can just pin this on. Here we are, got there in the in the end. How do I want that to go? Yeah, that looks really cute, I think. I think it looks better hanging like this. So it's just perched um, in the opening of the, um, the bulb pin. And the idea is that I can have it um, perched on the top of a page. Um, I'm using my Your Creative Studio journal. And I thought this page here was perfect with the lavender and pink colour tones. Um, so now I want to do something with this page here. And I'm thinking that I can maybe add some of this scrapbooking paper. It's the perfect um, size. Well, more, more or less. That's cut down to the right size. And we've got um, a small border of the paper that's underneath, which I like. I've also pulled out one of these cards here as well. And I'm just going to take this off to my sewing machine and I'm just going to add some stitching here and here which I think will go with the sewing theme and just add a nice touch of detail. I just love having the stitched um, detail. Now of course this is sticker paper but I'm just going to glue mine down. Um, I just find that sometimes these have a tendency to warp and I prefer to use mine as just regular pieces of paper so I'm just going to glue this on. 
and then we can make something to fill this pocket here and also this pocket here now we've got this lovely design left over from um, this piece of paper and I'm wondering whether we can make a focal image for this piece here so I'm just going to take this off to the paper trimmer and just um, cut this out and that's now going to make the focal image for my page. I'm just going to ink around the edges using some walnut stain. Walnut stain is just a bit darker than frayed burlap, so I think it will make it stand out um, just a bit more. I'll um, ink around the edges of the outside piece as well. Um, I also want to mount this um, or pop this up on some of this dimensional tape as well just to give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to stick some of this on all the way um, around. And I've used quite a bit of um, tape. I don't want it to bow in the middle. So I'm just going to take the release paper off and stick this down. Let me try and get this in the right position because this is incredibly um, sticky. Where do I want this um, to go? Got one shot at this about there I think there we have it having that propped up on dimensional tape just makes more of a feature of the focal image and I am just going to slot it inside this pocket here it's going to hang outside which I like I think um, that's a, a nice look next I want to make a couple of journaling cards just to go inside this pocket um, here so I've got this piece of the um, paper ephemera and I'm just going to stamp on the beautiful Singer sewing machine. Let's see if I can um, peel up the backing. Oh gosh, um, that was easy for a change. I struggle um, with these sometimes. Is it going to stick? Now it may well be because um, my stamp pad is dirty. I don't know. Is that going to stick? No, it doesn't really matter. And then let's um, use some of this black ink to stamp our image. I want plenty of ink on here. Make sure I've got really good um, coverage. There we have it. And let's stamp this, bring in my stamp block. Stand up to do this to make sure I get it um, in the right place. About there, I think. And I'm just going to pop this down on top and just really press for a good um, few seconds to make sure that the ink grabs. Let's see what, um, oh, isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. And whilst I've got my um, stamps out, I'm just going to use the backing as well. This piece here, you've seen me do this before. I'm going to use stays on ink this time. And again, I'm just going to ink up my stamp and I'm just going to stamp an impression um, on here so that I've got um, another piece of ephemera to use. Make sure. Oh, I just love the smell of stays on. It's, it's just beautiful. Um, so how am I going to do this? In fact, I think I'll pop the acetate on top. There we are. And then press down with my stamp pad. Fingers crossed. Let's see what this um, looks like. Let's peel it and um, peel it off. And isn't that gorgeous? So another beautiful piece of ephemera for us to use. I do want to add one of these whale tail tabs that we received in last month's box on the side here. Now this is too purple and I'm just wondering whether I can alter the colour using Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet. I'm just going to use one of these makeup brushes to do this. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, you see, that's working. I want to leave some of the purple just to tie the purple on the other side of the page. I think if I bring this in, you can see that the colour scheme works really well. We've got the purples in there, the pinks. Um, I'm also going to use some of my walnut stain as well just to ink around the edges. That looks so much better. The colour scheme um, works much more pleasingly to my eye anyway. Now I've pulled out these um, stickers and what I think I'm going to do is glue this 
on here and this is where your tweezers come in handy so that you can actually position things properly. That's perfect. And then I can glue this on the side. I've just added some glue inside here. Let's have it um, off, off centre, about here, I think. Just want to make sure that we've got that um, glued, glued down. And then I think we can make another one of these using maybe this journaling card here. Perhaps we could add some more of these stickers. Perhaps that shoe. I love that shoe. Let's pop that, that there. Um, we could maybe add some buttons as well. Let's add a couple of, um, of these. And maybe one of the purple ones as well. Oh gosh, it's stuck to my finger. And then let's add some more stamping. Bring in the stays on ink. And we'll just have this um, bobbin here. Let me just make sure I've got plenty of um, ink on there. Where do I want that to go? Make sure I've got it the right way um, up. Hang on, let's bring in a stamp pad as well to press down. I haven't um, bothered taking the backing off this. Let's pop that there. Press this down. Fingers crossed. Oh yes, that's really cool. And then we can have this little um, bobbin here as well. And that's our little card. I'm just wondering whether I can apply um, these stickers here as well, just to balance things out. Let's see what um, this looks like. Yeah, you see, I think those are perfect there, just like um, just like that. Let's see what these look like inside the pocket. So I am thinking that this one here can go at the top and... The little tab can poke out like that and then maybe we can slot this one in behind and just have the buttons and part of the shoe showing. Doesn't that look so pretty? I love how that looks. So let's see what this is going to look like um, in the journal. Okay, I've inked the backs of these cards as well, just so that they don't look quite so white. And so when I flip my page um, over now, um, they look cohesive on the back. Let me just um, show you. So let's line those up. So that's what we can see on the back. And all I need to do now is just finish off the left-hand side. Now, I found um, this beautiful floral image from one of the very first um, packs from Your Creative Studio that I received. And I'm thinking that this will look lovely tucked under here. I just don't want to cover up that beautiful um, floral paper background. I've got a piece of watercolour paper that I'm going to mount it on. What I will do um, is just ink the edges. Um, I'm going to use frayed burlap. I don't want anything too dark for this. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of um, stitching around the edges as well. So we'll pop this on, ink around the edges and then just add um, a line of stitching. And then I can just tuck that um, underneath my hidden paper clip. And I think that will finish off that, um, that spread really nicely. I've added my stitching. I love how much that um, adds. Let's try out my scissors um, again as well. Oh, these are beautifully sharp. Let's just trim off the um, bits from the back as well. And then that can just slot under there like, um, like that. I think that spreads beautiful. And because we've got um, all of the flowers on the right hand side as well in many of the backgrounds, you can see all the beautiful flowers here. I think it um, works really well and, um, and cohesively. Um, it also ties in with the theme that we did um, for the last box as well. We've got purples going on here um, as well. But isn't that um, a pretty spread? 
So for those of you that are following me for the first time, I'll leave the link to Your Creative Studio in the description box below. It's a monthly subscription box. You can buy them as a one-off or subscribe for, for longer if you want to, but you'll find all of the details in the description box below. Um, but, you know, I just hope that this has given you some ideas as to how you can use these gorgeous kits um, and that you've enjoyed today's video. So if you have, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now